everyone, it's Darren here and welcome back to my channel or if you're a new viewer then welcome to my channel. Today's video is something that I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys because I'm filming a Q&A and I genuinely don't think I've filmed a Q&A in about a year and obviously so much has happened since then so it's really nice to sit down and be able to fill you guys in on what's been going on and answer all of your questions. So this time I asked you guys over on my Snapchat to ask me questions. I'll have my username on screen but if you don't have me on Snapchat, you should definitely add me. I'm always active on that and love to talk to you guys on that. But anyways, I ended up getting so many questions from you guys, which I'm so happy about. And I'm going to try and get through as many as possible in today's video and share with you guys what has been going on in my life. Before getting started with today's video, however, if you are a new viewer, I'd love if you could hit the subscribe button down below. We actually just hit 23,000 subscribers, which is so amazing. Thank you to each and every one of you guys for subscribing and literally means the world to me so if you are a new viewer and want to join the fam and keep updated with my videos make sure to hit the subscribe button down below also before we get started let's all smash the thumbs up button and let's try and get this video to 150 thumbs up smash the thumbs up button right now guys you can do it let's get to 150 thumbs up but anyways enough of me talking let's just go ahead and jump straight into the question so the first question that I received is what are you planning to do after you leave university love you so much Darren firstly I love you too and as many oh my god I literally just dropped my phone and we're the first question in to this video so that's going well let me just get that okay let's do that again so as many of you guys know I go to London College of Fashion and I do fashion PR and communication which is an undergraduate degree that lasts for three years so after I fit I can't speak after I finish that degree I'm actually planning on doing a master's as many of you guys know if you have been following my channel for a while I was actually gonna do a business degree and then when it came to results day I switched to a fashion degree so when I do my master's I'm most likely going to pursue something which is a business or management related masters just to be able to study that I feel like it would be so beneficial and I'm actually gonna try and study that in New York City if you guys know me you know that I'm in love with New York I go there all the time and it'll be really great to be able to study and live there for a year so that is my plan after I leave university the next question is what hair brand do you use and I honestly get so many questions about this I actually wear hair from the company Beauty forever hair their hair is honestly incredible I've been using them since around September when I first started university and it's insane and like this is my second time reusing it and it's still such amazing quality I'm wearing Peruvian hair bundles by the company and then a closure but I'll just link down below what hair I use my closure the exact link so you guys can shop that if you're interested but yeah so many people have been asking me that and to answer your question I've been wearing hair from beauty forever the hair and I know that I haven't actually been asked this but loads of people ask me if I wear wigs I've never actually worn a wig before but I feel like it's the new trend I feel like 2018 is the year of wigs but for me I personally just like to have my hair sewn in like I use bundles rather than wear a wig but if that changes, I'll let you guys know and I'll link you guys up to some good wig companies. But for now, I love wearing bundles. I feel like it's just a lot more secure and it works for me. But obviously, who knows what the future holds. Maybe I'll join wig gang. Let me know in the comments down below if you're wig gang. I'm so curious about it. The next question, I actually received it on Instagram. And it says, do you still talk to people from secondary slash sixth form? I'm not even going to lie to you guys. When I first saw this DM, I burst out laughing. Because in all honesty, I really don't talk to people from secondary slash sixth form. Um, if you know me personally, you know that I have like my group of friends. And then I have a few other girls from secondary school slash sixth form that I'm still in contact with. But overall, I'd say that I speak to about like six or seven people from my secondary school slash sixth form and not even because anything happened really we've just gone our separate ways. I feel like once everyone goes to different universities in different parts of the country everyone just kind of goes their separate ways and it's not even anything personal or anything intentional it just kind of happens so I am in really good contact with the girls who have always been in my life and then obviously I have some individuals that I'm really close with but overall I'm definitely not someone who is in contact with a lot of people from school um, whereas I know loads of people that are still very much in contact it's definitely just down to you as an individual the next question I also got from Instagram and it says what do you plan on doing with your degree 
what's your career path? Now I think this is actually such a good question because um, obviously like I mentioned earlier on in the video I was going to do a business slash management degree and then potentially go into banking and like all of my work experience is kind of built up for that. I've done work experience at Barclays and Canary Wharf, had the opportunity to go to Insight Days at Bank of America. So when I look at my CV and when like people from my uni look at my CV they do always ask me what exactly is my career path but obviously now that I study fashion I have always had an interest in the industry and it's definitely a lot more um, realistic what's the word it's definitely much more achievable for me to get into the fashion industry because I'm studying at a really good school well-known school so I am able to potentially enter that industry obviously I'm also doing my YouTube I don't really know what could happen from that and then on top of that I've done like presenting I did my BBC bite Size show with Jack so I'm not too sure what I want to do because I enjoy all fields and there are endless opportunities especially in 2018 so I am not exactly too sure what I'm going to be doing as my career path but it definitely is going to be something that I enjoy and something that comes naturally to me hopefully. So yeah I'm excited to see what the future holds and obviously as I make my YouTube videos you guys will be along with me on that journey the entire way so you guys will know what's going on in my life. The third question is give us a sneak peek of some future plans for your channel in 2018. This is a question that got me so excited because I planned out so many videos for this year which I think you guys are going to love. If you guys watched my previous video prior to this, you'll know that I've recently become vegan. So I'm definitely going to be making a lot more veganism videos and what I eat in a day type videos. But I'm also going to be making a ton more fashion videos and university videos because I know you guys really want to see those. And when you ask, I shall deliver. So um, that is a very, very brief sneak peek. But there are so many things that I feel like you guys are going to love this year. And I can't wait for you guys to see those videos. The next question is, have you thought of where you would like to live permanently when you're older? I am definitely a city girl. And that is why I was so intent on staying in London for university. So I feel like when I'm older, that probably won't change. I definitely want to be in a city. Probably will be London because I love London. I've grown up here and it's just amazing but like I said I am also in love with New York and so when I do my masters there hopefully or if I ever just live there then maybe I could stay there permanently obviously I don't know how that works because you need a visa and like all of that stuff but um probably in a city most likely London speaking of London the next question is am I enjoying university in London and do I have any regrets now, if you guys follow me on my Twitter, which is just at Beauty by Darren, along with my Instagram, so make sure to follow me on there, bit of self promo. But if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that I tweeted, my university experience is definitely not what I expected in the slightest. And quite a lot of people kind of messaged me or replied to my tweet after that because they kind of thought that I wasn't enjoying university. But university in London is definitely such an incredible experience. However, it honestly is not your typical university experience and I feel like I can say this because when I first started university I would go and visit my friends at different universities. I've been to Warwick, I've been to Nottingham and I've just kind of seen the differences compared to my university and when they come and visit my university they say the exact same thing. They've all said it's completely different to what they perceive as university experience. I am enjoying it, however, I feel like university in London is or can be quite lonely. Basically, when you're in London, people live all across London to commute to university, so not everyone is in one place. And so because of that, it can be quite difficult to make friends or like build a really good network of people because more often than not people are always scattered across or that's what I found anyways so I am very fortunate that I live in halls because it's given me the opportunity to meet so many people and become friends with such amazing people but for the people that I know who don't live in halls they've all told me that their time at university is like the only interaction with other people and that it can be very lonely and even though I'm in halls there's times where I'm just in my bed like so sad because I feel isolated whereas if you're in a campus uni like Birmingham or Nottingham everyone is kind of within the same proximity and you're all near each other so if you're ever bored you can just like 
walk to the common room and loads of other people are there whereas in London obviously rent's very expensive so people live in loads of different places so you don't really have the opportunity to do that perhaps however that being said I feel like the pros of uni in London definitely outweigh the cons because even if you're not mixing with people in the common room you're literally in the heart of London so you can meet people wherever you go there's so many incredible things to do in London so many amazing clubs so many amazing museums etc so I feel like as long as you know that there are other things to do and you don't just rely on university to provide you with everything then university is definitely a very fun experience and that is something that I'm doing so um yeah university in London very very different um if you're someone who is expecting big like campus events and all of that it's definitely not like that um so yeah, it's an interesting experience, but it's definitely something that I would not trade. I love it. It's very unique. It's very, very amazing. So don't be discouraged to apply to university in London. Just know that in the back of your mind, if you are finding things lonely or you don't really feel like you're living that university experience, just make sure to take advantage of all of the other amazing things that London has to offer. And then related to that, the final question which I'm going to be answering in this video is how have you kept yourself motivated to work well in university? Now I feel like this goes with anything, but whoever you surround yourself with, whether or not at university or in your general life, has a very big influence on your life. Staying motivated to do well at university is obviously down to you, but the people that you surround yourself with can definitely have a very very big impact on that and so I feel like a big factor on how I've kept myself motivated to work well at university is surrounding myself with people that also want to do well at university. I'm good friends with a girl called Alex and when we first started the course we both started studying together from like the very first day and so I felt like starting as you mean to go on is a very important factor in staying motivated to do well at university so because we'd always have study sessions together and go to the library together and do work together I kind of just got in the mindset of like doing work and getting on with it. I feel like a lot of university is literally just getting on with it. It's not as complicated as it needs to be. If you just do your tasks when you're supposed to do them it is very very manageable I find. So yeah just get on with it and remind yourself why you're here. You're not here to be partying all the time, you're here to actually do well, you're here to get a job or an internship and you're, I don't know, I feel like you just need to remind yourself why you're here and why you came to university and when you constantly do that you'll just want to do well for yourself. But yeah that is actually all of the questions that I'm going to answer today, I'm so sorry if I can get around to your question but don't worry I'm definitely going to be doing a Q&A very soon because I actually love sitting down and just talking to you guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did I'd love if you could hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments down below if there's any more questions that you'd like me to answer or if you found anything interesting and want me to elaborate more on it. As always if you were any viewer and enjoyed today's video I'd love if you could hit the subscribe button down below. I upload new videos every single Sunday and I'd love you to be a part of the family. So definitely make sure to click that big red subscribe button. I'm going to have my links to my social media accounts in the description box down below as always. So make sure to stay connected on there. But that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And a massive thank you again for 23,000 subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. You mean the world to me. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye.